Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to Today I Feel Like. Today we're gonna check out the Amperage Mighty Mic F. This is a mini shotgun microphone for both smartphones and for DSLRs and other cameras. So we're gonna go ahead, unbox it, see what comes inside, test it out, and here we go. All right, so here we have the box. We can see what it looks like right here and we can see it fits right into a smartphone if you have a headphone jack. We also have a cable that looks like it's gonna run from that, uh, that 3.5 millimeter port or jack over to uh, your DSLR there. Um, so yeah, we can see here, it's just a little bit of branding on this side. On this side, it gives us some information about the actual microphone. It says Amperage Mighty Mic F, and it says smartphones and, and DSLR cameras, mini shotgun microphone. It has a cardioid pickup pattern for focused sound, uh, direct plug-in to headphone jack on tablets and smartphones, includes hot shoe mount and cable for use with DSLR cameras, mount on boom pole with Mighty Mic uh, Pro as a wireless film uh, mic direct uh, to, a, to a phone or tablet, includes microphone, DSLR cable, stabilizer, hot shoe, uh, shock mount, foam, and fluffy windscreens, and bag. There we go. All right, it says compatible with these apps, uh, Movie Pro iOS, Filmic Pro iOS and Android, uh, Cinema uh, FV-5 Android, Mighty Mic Pro Recorder, Voice Memo iOS, and many others. It says checkamperage.com for more info. All right, let's go ahead and get this, uh, let's just take everything out of there and see all of what we get with this. So that looks like everything here. So we can see here, this is gonna be the bag that comes with it. And I think there's something else in there too. Let's see what else. Yep, there is uh, some other sort of, I'm not sure what this is. I'm sure it's some sort of adapter of some sort. We'll leave that off to the side for the moment. But we have the bag here. We have the microphone with the uh, foam wind puff already on it. We'll take this off so we can see what the capsule looks like. This thing is plastic. It feels very plasticky. Some of these microphones are um, are metal, some are plastic. Not sure if it really matters. I mean, plastic is really durable. One thing it does do is make the, the microphone very lightweight. So there is that. We have the uh, we have the uh, the mic port right here, the jack that you can plug right into a smartphone if you have a headphone jack, which I do not have a smartphone with the headphone jack right now for that I use. Um, this here is the clip that you can use to attach to your smartphone. So if you are actually gonna put this on a smartphone, this will, as you can see here on the box, it actually uh, pushes in against the phone so that it stays nice and secure. So, but we're gonna take this off because I'm actually gonna use this with a camera and try that out. So we also get the shock mount here that we can use and the shock mount is just gonna go slip right there. And uh, yeah, I can see why this is actually, this is the adapter, I guess. I can see why this is, they're gonna have this because as you can see, when I put that on there, it flops around, it's way too loose on there. So I believe this is gonna go on here so that we have a little bit more, um, we have a little bit more girth on there. So let's see if we can get this, yep. Woo, ah, man, that pinched the crap out of me. Ooh, be careful, man. That is, uh, that's bleeding under my skin there. So it didn't break the skin, but it's definitely bleeding underneath there. So please, please be careful. My God, that hurt. They need to figure out a, a better way to get this on there, because that, that, ooh, that was painful. Okay, so um, now we can slide this on there. Let's see if we can get this on there right. There we go. And um, yeah, that is distracting. That really hurts, man. Okay. Um, so now we have it on there, we can see nice and secure. So now we can actually mount this onto, uh, now we can actually mount this onto our camera and, uh, and get this going. We also, have, um, we also have the foam wind puff right here, which we see if we can get this out of the bag here and check this out to see what this is gonna look like. And there we go, yeah. All right, so it looks like we're gonna put this on. It's unclear if this is going over the foam wind puff or just going straight on here. Let's see, sometimes it's supposed to go over top of the foam wind puff, so let's see. It looks like it, it probably is because it looks like the opening is pretty large there, so yeah. All right, there we go. So that is the dead cat right there, looking good. It's not too big, not too small, so we have that there. 
We also have uh, we also have some cables in here that we need to get out. So let's pull peel that off and uh, and open up this bag so that we can access the cables. And yeah, that's just a little more effort than I want. So there we go. We'll take that off. So and here we have it. Now one interesting thing is because this actually has a direct uh, mic port on there, a mic jack. We need to have a female to male port there, so we can uh, if you can see those there. So this is going to just slide right on there, and boom. And now this end is going to go into your camera. So it's uh, it's pretty simple right there the way that works. And so yeah. Anyways, that's it. Silica gel as always. We also have the uh, we also have the instructions here. If you need it, tells us what the content packages are. Um, we also have. Um, we also have, I guess it's going to be some instructions on how to use it. And let's see. Yeah, it gives us some info. It's just a sort of short info sheet, a little pamphlet about frequency response and, and the pickup pattern and all that good stuff there. So, all right, that is everything. We have the, uh, we have the mic ready to go here. So I'm going to actually hook this up to my GoPro uh, Hero Black 9 because that's the way I like to use these small microphones. I like to mount them onto my GoPro and try them out that way. So I'm going to do that, test it out, and we'll see how it performs and what it sounds like. So I'll run a test with it without the mic, one with, the, with the mic, so you can hear a bit of a comparison in how this sounds. All right, so what you're hearing right now are the built-in microphones of the GoPro Media Mod. So I'm filming with the GoPro Hero 9 Black and I'm using the Media Mod. I'm gonna go ahead now and plug in the Amperage Mighty Mic F and see what this sounds like using the GoPro. So let's go ahead and plug this in and try it out. Okay, so I have the, uh, the Amperage Mighty Mic F plugged in and I'm uh, recording with it right now. So um, yeah, this is what you can expect uh, when you're using this with the GoPro. Um, there's no real adjustments that you can make on the microphone. So this is sort of plug it in, you get what you get. Now, if you're using a different camera that allows you to make adjustments, then you can make the adjustments in camera. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is a very sort of direct, simple solution to plug into your camera and get better audio than just the built-in microphones of your camera since most cameras don't have all that great audio. But I'm curious to know what you think about it as far as the audio sample uh, from the GoPro built in, the GoPro uh, Media Mod microphones built in versus the Amperage Mighty Mic F microphones as they are. So yeah, which one do you think sounds better? Which one do you think sounds worse? Do you think they sound the same? Are they comparable, compatible, whatever? Let me know. I mean, maybe it doesn't make a difference. Maybe it makes a huge difference, but that's what I want you to hear. And so you can tell me what you think about it and if something like this may work for you. Now this is a mini shotgun microphone, so it should direct everything right in front of me and reject from behind me. There is a car that's just driving by right there. It was just behind me a moment ago, or in front of me, but behind the microphone in front of, uh, a moment ago. So I wasn't sure how, I'm not sure how well you'll be able to hear that, but that's part of what this microphone is supposed to be good at, is actually rejecting the sound from the sides and from behind it and directing uh, and having a very narrow pickup pattern. So um right in front of the microphone so yeah now um one other important thing i want to mention about this microphone well it's important for some people not so much for me but that is there is a headphone jack on this microphone so if you are someone who needs a headphone jack to monitor your audio you have that option available to you so now for me i use these small microphones primarily for vlogging like this so for me having a headphone jack isn't really that important because i'm never really monitoring my audio but if you're someone who is behind the camera a lot and you want to be able to actually plug in a headphone a pair of headphones so that you can monitor that could be important to you and you do have that on this microphone you do have a headphone jack that you can plug into and monitor your audio in real time okay so we were able to see what this little microphone sounds like hooked up to the gopro while we were outside now it was a little bit windy outside and i did have the little furry uh windscreen or the dead cat as they call it on so it should have knocked down that wind we were able to get a sample of what the gopro media mod mic sound like in comparison so if you were going without a mic versus with the mic you can get an idea of what that sounds like now they did mention that you can use this as a wireless boom mic so i am going to go ahead and hook up this 
this microphone with uh, with my wireless mic set and plug it into my camera. Now, what you're hearing right now is my Saramonic Soundbird T3. It is right overhead, right here. And so normally the way I have this is hooked up, I just have it on a boom pole and a cable running directly into my, uh, my camera over here, my Sony a7R 3 So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hook up my wireless microphone set to this uh, microphone here, to the Amperage Mighty Mic F, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and mount it right where this microphone is, and we're gonna see do you need to have a big shotgun mic or can something small like this do the trick? Now, if you wanna run this directly into your camera, you're gonna need a long cable to be able to do so. So, and because I don't have a cable long enough to run it, that's why I'm gonna use my wireless microphone system. Now this can be, uh, this can be beneficial for two reasons. One is that it's wireless. And two, it allows you to hook up without having a long cable, which is the wireless thing. So I guess it's really just one benefit. But anyways, let's go ahead and hook this up and see what it, see what it sounds like. All right, so I went ahead and hooked up the Amperage Mighty Mic F microphone right up here to where my boom pole is. And so I have my wireless mic receiver. I'm using the Blink Ceremonic, uh, the Ceremonic Blink 500 system. And I have the Amperage Mighty Mic F plugged into it. And so yeah, this is it right here. We can see that it's mounted right there. And so this is what you're hearing. So what you heard before in the previous clip was my Ceremonic Soundbird T3 plugged directly into my camera. But what you're hearing right now is the Mighty Mic F plugged in to my wireless mic system and that's going into my camera here. So I'm curious to know what this sounds like to you. If it sounds as good, if it sounds different, if it sounds better, if it sounds worse. Um, you know, this is one thing that I think can work for a lot of people if you don't have a ton of money, but you still want to have really good sound quality. If you can get the microphone close enough to you and you can actually get the line going into your camera, you can still get good sounding audio with a with an inexpensive microphone. Now, I don't know how this sounds right now, but I can see the levels on my camera look about the same as they did with my uh, regular shotgun microphone. So, you know, I didn't even undo, I didn't even, uh, you know, un, uh, unhook my microphone here. I just simply went ahead and mounted the Mighty Mic F, just wrapped the cable around it and just rested it on the microphone because it's so small and so light, I didn't even have to worry about taking anything apart and remounting it. I just was able to mount, to just attach it by wrapping the cable around. Now, if you were to use this as a permanent solution, I would suggest that you actually use the screw mount on the, uh, the shock mount of the amperage and then use that to actually mount it properly. But for this, uh, for this scenario, because it's just a quick test, I can just go ahead and hook it up like that. So yeah, anyways, this is a quick sample of what the Amperage Mighty Mic F sounds like if you have it boomed overhead. All right, everyone, so there we have it. That is a look at the Amperage Mighty Mic F mini shotgun microphone. This is a mini shotgun microphone that is going to work with both your smartphones and your cameras. So if you have a smartphone that has a headphone jack, you can plug directly into it. If you don't, like, well, I don't, and most of the new uh, flagship phones don't, you're gonna need an adapter to actually plug in, like a USB-C or a lightning adapter to 3.5 millimeter cable so that you can actually plug that in. I really wish some of these microphones uh, came with those adapters so you can use them right out of the box. I know that that's an extra expense and they try and keep the price of the product down and that would probably add another five or 10 bucks to it, but it would be nice to have everything that you actually need. Now this microphone does come included with quite a bit. You get the microphone, you get a foam windscreen, you get a furry windscreen like a, you know, a dead cat, you get a shock mount, you get uh, the cable to go from the, uh, from the 3.5 millimeter port that goes into your smartphone. You get that adapter to the DSLR, a regular camera adapt uh, cable. So you get really everything. Oh, you get a pouch too to keep everything, a little bag to keep everything in. So you really get everything that you need to make this work except for the adapter cable if you have a smartphone that doesn't have a headphone jack. So yeah, and it does work well. You can plug it directly into your camera. You can plug it right over head here if you want so yeah if you're using this so that you can uh, so that you can boom it overhead 
it works really well with that. You can do that pretty simply and easily. Yeah, it's pretty nice. So I'm gonna leave links to this. Oh, also right now on Amazon, the thing is only like $49.99. So you're gonna get all of this for $49.99. So if you were looking for a microphone and you wanted something that was good quality, you wanted something that was gonna work with both your phones and your cameras or your tablets and your cameras, this is something to definitely consider because it's gonna give you sort of everything that you need in, in one nice, simple, and clean package. So yeah, anyways, I'm gonna leave links to this product down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave a link to my Amazon page and all my social media contacts so that you can reach out to me elsewhere and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.